Hey everyone, it's Lauren. Welcome back to Closet Ecology. Today's video is just going to be a shopping vlog. We're going to be starting off today's vlog at Gucci. So this is just some of the SLGs that they had today. Uh, I do like the Dionysus, but honestly, the 1955 Horsebit collection has stolen my heart. I have one of the wallets from this collection and it's just fabulous. I love it. So this bag is the reason that I came in. This is the Blondie. This was just released. Now this is a re-release of a style that was uh, put out in the 70s and Tom Ford did a rendition of this when he was the creative director as well. Uh, I am not going to talk too much about this today because I'm going to do a dedicated video on it. Here are the Jackies that they had available today. I love this style. It's just a bit too preppy for me uh, personally, but I did actually really like this micro size. I thought that was super cute. I of course had to check out the Fendace collection at my local Versace. Here is one of the baguettes. Uh, I really thought it was cool to try that on in person. And uh, even though this type of look is not really my style, I really just have an appreciation for the moment in fashion history that is this collaboration. I just think it's so fun and playful and I think it was just done very well. Uh, I do actually like that belt though. I think that that belt is super awesome. Uh, love a good black baguette. I have one um, and just I think it's a classic style silhouette and you can't go wrong with black. This fanny pack is actually pretty cool too. Now we're moving on to Ferragamo. You guys, this is one of my all time favorite brands and it really needs to get more love and attention because the craftsmanship and quality is just out of this world. So I came in today to check out their new uh, re-release of a vintage style. It's this top handle bag. Uh, it's, it's incredible, you guys. Um, it's priced at $2,500, which I think is actually very fair for this bag of this quality, but you can totally find vintage ones very easily on the pre-loved market, and I'll go ahead and uh, share some of those with you down below. But uh, yeah, this red color, stunning. I also like this hobo style bag. I don't remember what it's called, but I thought that was very sharp looking, very beautiful. And then this little bucket bag kind of stole my heart. Uh, it's just too similar to my Soho Disco, um, so I couldn't justify it. But then the essay told me she had it in beige. And you guys, I almost walked out with this bag. And that's not something that I would normally do, but I might have to think about this one. I definitely loved it. Side note, um, we are getting a Dior and I about screamed when I saw that. <laughs> so really excited about that. Uh, here is Shinola. This is a Detroit thing. Um, this is the brand of my watch. Uh, they make leather goods as well. There's this basket bag. Um, was not a super fan of the leather that they use. It just scratches really easily as you can see, but they make incredible watches. I love my watch to death. Wear it every single day. It's called the Birdie Style. Uh, but I came in to look at this bag. This bag has been on my wish list for a while and they had it in the brown, which I wanted to try on and see in person. Those are really cute too. So here's the bag in person. They have it stuffed pretty full here, but it's really interesting. It has just a single strap, but I just think it's fabulous for a really large tote. You really can't go wrong with it. Moving on to Celine. Oh, you guys, I am dying to own my first Celine bag. Um, I'm definitely much of more of a Philo era fan, um, but I do like some of their new styles, including this one. I think it's stunning. It's beautiful. I love the Triumph, Triumph, whatever <laughs> logo um, that's on the front here. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm also obsessed with the small sangle. Um, I heard that this is being discontinued and it did just recently have a price increase. Um, it's not so high that it deter me from getting it, but um, I kind of need to make a decision whether or not I'm going to get it because I might miss out on my opportunity. Um, but I really love the small style. I think it's great. I thought this furry bag was pretty interesting. <laughs> Um, I also like this tote as well, but it just didn't seem very Celine to me. I just couldn't quite pinpoint what it reminded me of. Um, I like that little shopper tote and then that uh, bag in front of it I thought was really pretty too. I also think that they do SLGs like very well. I think that they're super 
cute. Almost have like a girly undertone, but like in a modern way. I don't really know how to describe it. I just, I really like those. I thought those were super cute. Uh, the shelf was kind of bare in the back over here, but um, yeah, I just, I love the whole aesthetic of Celine. It's very much my vibe. So I, of course, needed to check out some ready to wear today as well. Um, ready to wear is not something I normally splurge on, but I did really love this knitwear piece right here. Um, but this one, oh my gosh, you guys, this was very tempting to try on. I almost did, but I was afraid if I did, I'd be walking out with it. So I did not. Um, but yeah, guys, this whole like area, love it. Absolutely love it. Way overpriced, but it's gorgeous. Love it. Took a quick peek at Brunello Cuccinelli. If you guys missed the video of me finding a uh, Brunello Cuccinelli cashmere sweater at the thrift. I will go ahead and link that. It's definitely the best piece of knitwear that I own, but uh, way overpriced at retail cost. You guys, this Fendi velour jumpsuit is everything. And if it would have been in my size, I would have 1000% tried this on because it's incredible. Just, oh my God, I loved it. 10 out of 10. Yes. This Burberry cardigan I also thought was super interesting. I've never seen Burberry do anything like this before, really? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have seen previous collections with abstract prints like this. I just was really drawn to it for some reason. Now, a cardigan like this would be something that I would maybe consider splurging on because you can wear it so many different ways. Same thing with a trench. Now, I don't need a Burberry trench because I have one, but I thought that this was just very interesting and very cool, very unexpected. Uh, definitely a special piece and, um, I just thought it was really fun to look at today. Uh, moving on to Balenciaga. I just, definitely not my style, uh, ready to wear specifically, but always fun to look at, of course. Uh, this bag is definitely a no for me. I hate this bag. <laughs> I think it's the most hideous thing ever, but you know, whatever. Uh, this bag I actually thought was pretty cool. Uh, it was, it felt very luxurious when I was touching it. So I was kind of petting it for a while, like a weirdo. <laughs> uh, this, uh, Neo bag was actually 40% off, which I was a little shocked by. I love this, like, cool toned taupe color. I thought that was really gorgeous. This was also tempting, but I think I'd rather go with a vintage, just regular Balenciaga City um, if I had to pick between the two. They also had this hourglass on sale as well, uh, but take a look at these polka dots because they're like almost spray painted on. I just thought that was really edgy and really cool. Moving on to Bottega. I have not seen any new Bottega pieces in person. I've only seen the vintage. So I was really excited to see these at my local Neiman's. Um, here's some pouches up here. Now this bag, you guys. Okay, so I'm interested in purchasing this bag, but in the smaller size, uh, in the parakeet green, like this bright green color. Uh, it's it's fabulous. I love it. Uh, so it was really great to see that in person for the first time. Love that. Love the weaving. It's just beautiful. Here's some Jody action for you. I love the Jody. My daughter hates it. She thinks it looks like a rag, like tied up, <laughs> but whatever to each their own. And then here's the dumpling booty bag. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about in reference to that, uh, Cassie Thorpe kind of ruined that for me. So here's a better shot of that. And if you see it, you can't unsee it. So there you go. Uh, Chanel dad sandals. Uh, I was actually shocked to see that these sandals are actually not like textured on the bottom. They're like slick or they're flat. I just thought that was really odd. I've actually never touched or seen these in person before because they've always been like sold out. Uh, these Chloe ones were actually really cute as well and a pretty good price. So really liked those. I actually like a lot of Chloe's things even though they're a little more boho leaning. Moving on to Longchamp, here's a leather bag. Uh, I did not like where the strap placement was on it. Uh, I wish it was on the end. So I thought it sit, sat kind of weird on the body. Um, and I don't know, I think it's beautiful though, uh, the silhouette of it. So more like this, I wish it was more like this bag, but this one was weird because the straps did not come off of it. And I love the Roselle, I think that's what it's called, tote. Even though this one was a little crushed, I think it's just a beautiful classic tote style. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed coming with me and shopping with me in today's video. Definitely stay tuned because I will be releasing a video talking more in depth about the Gucci Blondie and I wanna just kind of go more in depth about my thoughts on the collection, um, if I think it's worth the price point, etc. cetera. And uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.